students, it's Miss Hawkins. I hope you've been watching the videos about Leonardo da Vinci and learning about him, about the Mona Lisa, and some of the ways that he does drawings and drawing closely, following things closely with your eyes. Okay, so we're gonna do a blind contour drawing activity. And I want to uh, freshen up on those skills. Okay, so first of all, blind contour drawing. Blind means you're, there's no peeking. You're not looking at the paper that you're drawing on. You're looking only at the object that you are drawing, okay? Uh, we're gonna be doing our hands first, and then we'll talk about doing some other things, but first of all, we'll be doing our hand. So you're, you are looking at your hand, following it closely with your eyes, but you're not looking at your paper your paper and pencil as you're drawing, okay? So we're gonna freshen up on that skill. Uh, blind, meaning we're not peeking, we're not looking at our paper that we're drawing on, okay? You are looking at the object that you're drawing, but you're not looking at your paper, okay? And contour is an outline. So the contour line of an object is like the outline, okay? So if I was to trace my hand, that's not what we're doing. We're not putting our hands on our paper and tracing them. Okay, we're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're tracing it with your eyes. Okay? So blind contour drawing. That means it's the outline. So the contour line, remember, is the outline. Okay? All right. So left brain versus right brain. Okay? Left brain versus right brain. I'm going to try to read this to you real quickly. Okay? So some of the functions and activities performed from the left brain and the right brain. From the left brain, you've got things like verbal activities, rational activities, numbers, letters, and words, okay? On the right side of your brain, we do things like nonverbal activities, your intuitive activities, like your intuition, that gut feeling that you have, that comes from the right side of your brain. Patterns, pictures and whole things like as if looking at a picture say an artwork uh, with your right brain you'll look at it more wholly not in parts okay I know that's kind of complicated but we'll you'll understand more as we go along okay so most of these activities require both sides of your brain the examples above are ones that require more of one side than the other Okay, creativity is the highest order thinking skill. It is the use of imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. Okay, the right brain is typically less used, the least used. Okay, we want to get that creative juices flowing, then we need to get the right side of our brain on and get it working well. The right brain is needed for artistic expression and it enables creativity. And that's what we're all about, okay? So, let me review with you how to do a blind contour drawing, okay? If you've had me before, then you're probably going, oh no, not that again. But yes, it's a, we need it. We need to do it, kids, we need to do it. It's, it's our warm up. It's our warm up activity, right? Okay. So I've already done some scripture scripper scratchings here, okay? I'm gonna put one up that I got a new clipboard, kids. And I'm not liking it much, but I like them a lot these days. Okay, I want you here. I want you here in the art room and I miss you so much. Okay, so I'm using my little brain that I drew uh, as my letterhead. <laughs> okay, uh, so remember, do a blind contour. My eyes are gonna go around my hand, okay? Whatever object I have in front of me to look at, I'm looking for the contour line, okay? So the contour line, remember, it's the outline, okay? So I'm gonna start with my hand. It's my first thing, my first warm up. Blind contour. My eyes are going around, okay? I'll stick my pen on my paper, my pencil, whatever you're using. Okay, and then I'm gonna go slowly. My eyes are pushing my pencil, so to speak. Okay, 
Okay. Now I'm using a permanent black marker so that you can see. You can use anything you like. As a matter of fact, you could use nothing. <laughs> you could just use your finger. It's the, the objective is to get your writing utensil, your drawing utensil, and your eye moving together slowly. So if I get to going too fast, okay, my pencil or my, my eye are not together, I can stop, get them together. The objective is not to make a pretty picture. The objective is not to draw your hand. The objective is to get your eye and your writing utensil working together. Really, really concentrate on just putting them together, okay? This is a right brain activity, and I have a hard time talking sometimes because my brain is not in that verbal state. It's trying to just, just do bright brain stuff. stuff. <laughs> so it's really a, a good activity, boys and girls. I know it seems silly, but it's really, it's research-based, and, and I harp on it a lot, but it's so good to do these activities. This is not the only one. You have a link where you can go and you can see other things that you can do. You've not, you've not done that before, so we've always just done blind contour. You can also take a picture, say an artwork, okay, I have some here, and turn it upside down and draw it, looking at it normally. Just draw it upside down, okay? It makes your brain look, actually see. It's So, okay. Um, now, I want you to try to do this, boys and girls. I want you to try to do uh, these right brain drawings, okay? The con blind contour drawings, okay? I also want you, um, for this year, I want you to get some kind of journal, an art journal, okay? Whether it's uh, wire bound like this, whether it's like a composition book, it can even be a three ring binder, okay? And then you put, you know, um, copy paper that's been hole punched in it, okay? I want you to have art journal this year. Now we had art journal uh, options at the end of the year last year on our choice board for special areas, okay? This is something that I want us all to do. This is something you can have and it'll be yours. No one will need to share it with you, okay? So you'll have your, you know, your progress through the year in this journal. So of course, I don't want you to limit yourself to things. Um, I want you to create. If you want to build a sculpture or anything like that, that's fine. But I want us to do the projects that Ms. Hawkins asked you to do in your art journal. Okay? Try to keep it in your art journal. If it doesn't fit in your art journal, that's fine. You know I'm okay with that. But as much as you can do, let's try to put it in our art journal. Okay, so this is a, a year, will be a year-long portfolio of your stuff, okay? So the first things we're going to do is these studies. And if you've been watching your videos, you know what I mean by studies. Leonardo da Vinci did studies where he did these drawings like in nature of flowers. All these different um, views of something he found in nature that he was fascinated with. And he, he did these studies and he got really good at drawing it, okay? So, start with your blind contour drawing and your art journal. If you don't have one yet, it's okay. You can always staple it in, or you can do, when you do get an art journal, you can put it in then, okay? It's only just a few minutes, and you don't have to do this long to get your right brain kicked in, okay? So start with some blind contour drawings um, of your hand, then, I want us to do a blind contour drawing of a still life, okay? Still life artwork is something that's been set up. This is an example, okay, of a still life. A still life is when you put something out there, you set it up, it's still, it's 
being still, it's not moving, and it's in real life, okay? And you can look at it and draw. Artists do that, still lives. Here's another example of a still life. It's a vase with some flowers, okay? Things that are pretty common in still lives are, this is one of my favorites, it's a Janet Fish called Fallen Vase. Fall and Vase, yeah. She did it in 1987. It's all on canvas. Okay, it's by Janet Fish. You can look up some of Janet Fish's artwork. Lots of beautiful things. All right, um, so you just see things like fruit. There's a bowl, glass bowl. It's gorgeous. Um, a vase turned over, Fall and Vase, with the flowers in it. There's a vase. And see, it's set up. It's even out. You can tell it's outside. Maybe there's a, some curtains flowing, so you can tell it's windy. Beautiful still life okay so after you learn to remember how to do your blind contour then I want you to set something up in your home okay whatever it might be it could be your stuffed animal it could be um, maybe some sports equipment if you like sports um, whatever you really want it to be it's fine still life set up it could be some food from your kitchen fruit um, however you want it to be set that up and then do a blind contour your journal okay like I said if you don't have one yet it's okay if you need help getting one let me know okay um, so set it up do a blind contour of it all right and then on a fresh piece in your journal or a fresh piece of paper I want you to do a real drawing meaning not a blind contour not a blind contour just a normal drawing of that still life okay so um, happy creating guys I love you and I cannot wait to see you again